Hello and welcome everyone. I am your host Ajay Aditya C and in today's video we are going to be looking at how to integrate Zoho inventory and Vama ship. Now Vama ship is a leading shipping aggregator that has partnered with popular shipping carriers and logistic partners to simplify and centralize shipping for small and medium businesses in India. And at Zoho we have built an integration with Vama ship to increase the number of available shipping options for customers that use the India edition of Zoho inventory. So what's new? Well, with this particular extension, you can integrate directly with Vama ship to make use of all their shipping and logistic partners in India. You can calculate shipping rates and options based on your items and the distance involved. You can manage multi-piece shipments and generate shipping labels in Zoho inventory. And finally, you can track shipments and automate shipping notifications to your customers. So let's look at some prerequisites for this integration. First up, you need a Zoho inventory organization in one of the paid plans. Number two, you need an active Vama ship account wherein you have completed their KYC verification requirements. And then finally, you need a device which is a PC, a tablet or a phone with an internet connection. Integrating Zoho Inventory and Vama Ship. Now we are going to begin by logging into Zoho Inventory and opening your preferred organization. Now we all know that within Zoho Inventory you can have more than one organization, so that's why you will have to pick the organization for which you want to do this integration. And you have to make sure that this organization is in the India edition of Zoho Inventory. Meaning, when you are creating this organization, the country should be India and by default your currency will be INR. Now, after doing that, you just have to open a new tab on your web browser and you will have to find the Vama ship extension page on Zoho Marketplace. Once you are done with it, then click on the install button at the top right corner to begin. Upon doing so, you will be met with a pop-up window wherein if you are installing the Zoho Market plugin for the very first time then the marketplace interface will ask you to agree to their terms. So check out all the terms and then once you are ready enable all the mandatory check boxes before hitting install to proceed. In the following page select your preferred organization in Zoho inventory. Once again, you will need to agree to another set of terms for this integration before hitting next to proceed. This will take you to the authorization page wherein you will need to authorize two connections. The one on the left will handle the Vama ship side of things while the other on the right will deal with the Zoho inventory side of things. So hover your mouse over the connector on the left and then click connect. Now this will take you to the authorization page wherein you will have to enter a couple of details. So here you will need two things. You will need an authorization token and something called as a content type entry. Now you don't have to worry about these details because they are available to you ready made. So you can find your dedicated authorization token by logging into Vama ship and then navigating to the ambassador section within the Vama ship application. Once you are into this section, copy the ambassador API token. Switch back to the marketplace authorization page and before you paste the authorization ID or in other words the ambassador token, enter the word bearer followed by a space. Now paste your authorization ID within the same field. Under the content type, enter the following. You just have to enter application slash JSON. Click connect to finish. Once you're done with it, you will have to switch back again to the install extension page because you're done with authorizing the Vama ship extension connector. So you will have to now set up the other connector, which is the Zoho inventory connector. So hover your mouse over the right connector and then click on connect. This will take you to an intermediate page. Click on connect once again to proceed. 
in the following page you will have to review how this connector will share your data between the two apps and once you are ready click on the accept button to finish setting up this connection once again you will have to switch back to the install extension page and once you are done with both the connections click the install extension button to finish upon completing all of the above steps you will be redirected to the install the extensions module within zoho inventory now this is a module under the settings section of zoho inventory so you can check that out at any point in time by navigating to the settings module so if you are stuck anywhere during the setup process please feel free to contact our support team by dropping an email to extensions at the rate zohoinventory.com now next we are going to see how to generate a shipping label with vama ship the vama ship extension will allow you to ship one or more packages in zoho inventory to customers through their logistic partners to generate a shipment label through this integration once again log into zoho inventory and then click on the vama ship icon from the top right now this icon will be available across all the different transaction modules of zoho inventory so you can open it literally from any module outside of settings in zoho inventory this will open a shipment configurator window wherein each shipment will go through three phases the shipment details phase which is number 1 wherein you will provide the sales order package and customer information number 2 the shipment quote step wherein the system will provide the ideal option for you along with the rate and finally the shipment creation step wherein you can download and print a copy of your shipment label let's start by selecting the relevant sales order using the drop down menu upon doing so the appropriate customer information will be automatically fetched from the zoho inventory database you can modify the customer information if you want using the edit shipping address option this is especially useful for those customers who have more than one shipping address linked to them now under the packages to be shipped section select one or more unshipped packages that are associated with this sales order you can actually select more than one package here so please keep that in mind when you are preparing the shipment label fill in the necessary package information such as weight description package dimensions and the total value of items inside now before you get to the code stage vama ship has two shipment modes they have an express mode and they also have a surface mode wherein the former is a faster and more expensive mode of the two so pick a preferred mode of shipment if you go for surface then you will also need to choose whether it is a b2b shipment or a b2c shipment wherein b2c shipments offer the convenience of cash on delivery for customers unlike the b2b option after you are done selecting the shipment mode choose a pickup date and one of your warehouses in zoho inventory as the pickup location additionally you can also enable cash on delivery for the shipment and add gst in details if those apply to your shipment once you are done with everything hit the get quotes button to proceed to the next phase based on the information provided by you for your packages vama ship will calculate the shipping rate for you so once you have your shipping rate and once you are okay with it hit the create shipment button to finalize your shipment order this will initiate the shipment label generation process in the shipment creation section click on sync shipment status in order to once again not only finalize the shipment but also to update the status of your shipment order immediately following this a shipment label will be generated for your package if there is more than one package involved then individual shipping labels will be generated by vama ship for each package you can then download your shipment labels using the download label button upon completing all the three phases shipment orders will be created in zoho inventory and the appropriate packages will be moved to a shipped status 
the system will mark the packages as delivered and also notify your customers automatically once the goods reach them. All said, you can monitor the status of each shipped package by opening the comments and history section of the associated shipment order inside of Zoho Inventory. Alternatively, you can also log in to your Vama Ship account to check the status of your shipments at any point in time. Now we have seen how to generate a shipment label for your packages. That being said, sometimes you are also required to cancel a shipment or two depending on the customer's requirement. And so let's see how we can cancel a shipment through this integration. When it comes to cancellation, as of today, the current Vama ship extension does not allow you to do the cancellations within Zoho Inventory. Instead, you will need to open a new tab on your browser and log into the Vama ship application and then proceed to the shipments tab within the application. And under the shipments tab, you will find a list of all your ship packages wherein you will have to cancel the appropriate shipment. Once you're done with it, you will have to again open your Zoho Inventory organization and then navigate to the relevant package and then delete the shipment order associated with it manually. So this is mainly for the current version of Vama Ship. In the future, we'll see if we can also integrate this process for you. How to update the Vama Ship extension to a new version? Now, Zoho Inventory is version free because you get real time updates. That being said, when it comes to extensions, this involves a synergy of two different applications. And so from time to time, we keep building new versions of it with updated features and fixes. And so whenever a new version is out, you will need to update your integration. So number one, to keep track of these updates, you will have to first join our dedicated user voice forum, the link to which will be available in the description of this particular video. So make sure to join the forum and check out the updates that we launch at least once in a month. And number two, this extension can be updated only by the admin user who had originally installed this particular integration into Zoho Inventory. Updates initiated by other users will most definitely result in a failure. And hence, please do not remove, fire or deactivate that particular admin user from Zoho Inventory without reviewing their activity logs. So check out who has installed this particular integration and at least make sure to keep that particular account alive. Now to update your installed Vama ship extension, you will have to once again navigate to the Vama ship extension page within Zoho Marketplace. Once again, you will have to click on the install button and then in the following page, choose the organization for which you have installed the Vama ship extension, then hit next. Doing this will update your Vama ship extension to the latest version and you will see a success message right over here. You can also check the current version of your installed extension within the dedicated installed extensions module in Zoho Inventory at any point in time. Removing Vama ship. Now to uninstall this particular extension, once again, you will have to log into Zoho Inventory, navigate to settings and then marketplace and then move to installed extensions. Once you're in, click on the view details option adjacent to your Vama ship extension. On the following page, click on the uninstall button from the top right corner. Confirm your choice by clicking yes in the pop-up window to finish. This will remove the integration from your organization. Now there is something really, really important that you will have to keep in mind before you go ahead and uninstall this integration because uninstalling this integration will cut off all communication between Vama ship and Zoho inventory. And so you will not receive any updates on the status of your open shipment orders and packages. That being said, all of your existing package and shipping data will remain intact within Zoho Inventory, even if you uninstall this extension. So that's all for today. If you have any questions about this particular integration, please drop an email to extensions at the rate zohoinventory.com. I'll see you on another video. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.